Uh, John, why on earth are you a quantum physicist even here on a night where we're talking about transcendental meditation? That should be obvious. Um, quantum physics has basically revealed the fundamental unity of life. Surface diversity, but deeper levels at the molecular, atomic, subatomic, subnuclear, electroweak unified, etc., culminates in the discovery of what's called the unified field, fulfilling Einstein's dream of revealing the fundamental unity at the basis of the diversity of the universe. Now, what does that have to do with us? How dare you say I talk funny and then come out with that? <laughs> so you're saying that the idea that things are separate and distinct from each other on a material level is illusory. Is sensory that what you're saying? illusion. That's correct. It's a sensory illusion. That's correct. correct. But you can go beyond the senses. And that's what meditation traditionally is. Properly understood, it is a technique to pull the awareness from the outwardly directed senses powerfully within to experience deeper levels of mind, simpler, quieter, more unified levels of the thinking process, and then slipping beyond thought, that's where the transcendental comes in, beyond thought altogether to experience this universal unity at the basis of mind and matter. So we can access neurologically in our own minds the unifying field of creativity from which all energy and matter has come, perhaps even the cosmos and universe itself. Is that what you're saying? That's right. And it's not just philosophically so. interesting, but it's really practically important because Why? that meditative state is considered to be a fourth state of consciousness. That means not waking, dreaming, sleeping, in which the entire brain, as we've heard, is engaged. And that orderly, coherent style of functioning of the brain develops the full potential of human life. So truth be told, Meditation, transcendental meditation, comes from the ancient wisdom of yoga, and it's designed, it's engineered to develop the full potential of the brain. And as a side benefit, stress, stress-related illness melts away. John, do you reckon if through meditation we can achieve access to a fuller state of consciousness, it may help us to bring about a global revolution where we found a society based on spiritual principles rather than material and economic ones? It's the only way. Because yes, I thought there'd be a revolution tonight. I'm right in the mood. <laughs> a society based on utilizing 5% of the innate potential of the brain is going to be more or less like the society we have. Yeah, idiots. <laughs> We're like monkeys. But We're just like stupid monkeys. <laughs> but if we utilize more of them, we'll become more sophisticated. We'll build a utopia, a blissful utopia. Smarter monkeys, yeah. We'll still be sort of monkeys. Yeah. It, at least it, of an evening in front of the laptop. Right, kids? If the fundamental reality of life is unity, if we are all one at our core but don't see it, that bringing that unity from within to the surface of perception and understanding, that is a transformed world. That is a unified world. That is a right. peaceful world That's and important. a side effect of what we're doing. So. I see. So through this, we can achieve awareness of the unity that exists between all of us, that we are unity. Distinction, nation, religion, creed, these are all illusions. We're building our lives around illusion. If we know something to be true, then we should build our culture, our societies, our faiths, our institutions around that truth, and unity will be a, 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 an inevitable consequence of that. 